Sixth grade, module four, lesson 26, classwork. Solve each equation, use both tape diagrams and algebraic methods for each problem. Use substitution to check your answers. Okay, so let's start by using a tape diagram and then we'll do the algebraic method. So B plus nine is equal to 15. I'm gonna start by drawing two tape diagrams. So since these are equal, I'm going to make this 15. So this tape diagram is 15, and this tape diagram is B plus 9. Okay, so now I'm going to take it a little bit further and draw two more tape diagrams. So again, these are equal. So we have 15 is equal to, this time I'm going to separate it into B and 9. So we have two parts, B and 9, but they're both equal to, or they're, these two tape diagrams are equal to 15. So let's take it one more step further, draw two more tape diagrams. So again, we have 15, and then instead of B, I'm going to see 9 plus what's this missing piece that would get us to 15. So 9 plus what are we missing gets us 15. Well, that would be 6, which actually looks like a B. So it's kind of confusing. Okay, but that's okay. So the point is to show that this B is equal to 6. They are the same piece. So our tape diagram would show that, I'm going to make it a uppercase B, B is equal to 6. So there's a method you could use using tape diagrams. Now let's do it algebraically. So it was B plus 9 equals 15. So what the extra piece that's hanging on here is plus 9. So I need to get rid of that plus 9, and what I'm going to do is do is just subtract it so it's not there anymore. So we would have b plus 9 minus 9. So then I, because I'm trying to get b by itself, because I just want to know what b is. So if I do minus 9, that's going to get rid of that 9. But what I do to one side, I also have to do to the other. So on this side, I'm also going to do minus 9. So notice, if I were to take off the minus 9s, I have my original equation, but I'm doing the same thing to both sides, so in the end, they're going to be equal. So b plus 9 minus 9 is just b, and 15 minus 9 is equal to 6, so b is equal to 6. And we can check it by... Um, just inserting it into the equation. So is 6 plus 9 equal to 15? Yes, it is. So 6 is the correct solution. B, 12 is equal to 8 plus C. We're going to do the same tape diagram method first. So I'm going to make two tape diagrams, and I'll have 12. I'm going to make one the exact same size and make it 8 plus C. Then we take it one step further, we'll have two more tape diagrams, but this time I'm going to separate 8 and C. So we'll have 12, and one part's 8, one part's C. So then one more step further, we know that 12 would be 8 plus what is 12? Well, that would be 4. So the point is to see that C is equal to 4. So let's do the algebraic method. 12 is equal to 8 plus C. Okay, so we want to get rid of, we want to get 8 by, not 8 by itself, we want to get C by itself. So in order to do that, I need to get rid of this 8. So in order to get rid of 8, I need to subtract 8. 
So I'm going to do 8 plus C minus 8 because that would just get me C on its own. But remember, what I do on one side, I have to do on the other. So this side, I also need to subtract 8. So you can see if I took away the minus 8s and I'm doing the same thing on both sides, I would just have my original equation. So let's solve it. 12 minus 8 is 4. And 8 plus C minus 8 would just be C. So 4 is equal to C. And if we wanted to check it, 12 is equal to 8 plus 4. Exercise 2. Given the equation D minus 5 equals 7, demonstrate how to solve the equation using tape diagrams. So let's start with tape diagram. And here I'm just going to make one and make this equal to D. So the whole thing is D. So I'm just simplifying my tape diagrams instead of drawing two every time. We just know that the whole thing is D. And then we have D minus five is equal to seven. So we have the whole thing. We have D minus five is equal to 7 and then we also have 5. So moving down I have my 5 and then I need to know what minus 5 is equal to 7. Well that would be 12. So 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. I'm going to make that 7 and then D would be equal to 12. D is the whole. So let's see if it works and solve this algebraically. So D minus 5 is equal to 7. Remember the point is to try and get D alone. So if we have D minus 5, I want it to just be D alone. So I need to get rid of the 5 which means I need to add 5. So D minus 5 plus 5 would be equal to, since I did plus 5 on the left side, I need to do plus 5 on the right side. So notice I added plus 5s. And then D minus 5 plus 5 would just be D. And 7 plus 5 would be equal to 12. So let's check our answer. Is 12 minus 5 equal to 7? Yes, it is. Or if we wanted to do a um, number sentence, a more intense number sentence, we could say that 12 minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 7 plus 5, which is also true. Exercise 3. Solve each problem and show your work. You may choose which method, tape diagrams, or algebraically you prefer. Check your answers after solving each problem. So I much prefer solving them algebraically, so I'm going to do it that way. I think it's a lot more, a lot more quick and uh, just easier in my mind. So let's do e plus 12 is equal to 20. So remember the goal here is to get e alone. We want it to be alone. We want to get rid of that plus 12. So in order to get rid of 12, we need to subtract 12. So let's do e plus 12 minus 12 would be equal to, remember what we do on the left side, we must do on the right side. So we need to also subtract 12 on that side. So here's what we've added, minus 12s. Otherwise, it's the same exact equation. So e plus 12 minus 12 is just e, and 20 minus 12 is 8. So e is equal to 8. And if we wanted to check to see that it's true, we would do 8 plus 20, or sorry, 8 plus 12 is equal to 20. And b, f minus 10 is equal to 15. So we're trying to get the variable by itself, which in this case is f. 
So if I subtract 10, I want to bring it back to 0. So I'm going to need to add 10. So f minus 10 plus 10 would be equal to 15. And what I added here was the plus 10. So I'm going to do that on that side as well. So there's what we've added. Otherwise, it's the same exact equation. So we get f is equal to 15 plus 10 is 25. So f is equal to 25, and let's check. It is 25 minus 10 equal to 15? Yes, it is. C, g minus 8 equals 9. So we're trying to get g by itself. So we need to get minus 8 back to 0 so that there's nothing on that side. So minus 8, I'm going to add 8 to cancel that out. So g minus 8 plus 8 would be equal to 9. And what I added on to here was the plus 8. So I also need to do plus 8 over here. So g minus 8 plus 8 would just be g is equal to 9 plus 8 is equal to 17. So g is equal to 17. If we were to check that, we would have 17 minus 8 is equal to 9. And that is true. And that is the end of that classwork.